Hey Asphalt Lifers, welcome to another episode of Hammer Time with Paul Caseri. We're going to discuss flashing, best practices, things to do, things not to do, some common mistakes. So we have some special guests with us today. We have Mick and Steve-O from Behringer Brothers Roofing. Welcome guys, I appreciate you, you guys coming out here and helping us today. Tell me a little bit about yourselves. Uh, well, we started about 15 years ago. I started by myself. Uh, 14 years ago, my brother came on, and since then, we've been the big dogs in town, just doing things. We're built on quality. Uh, customer service is probably our biggest thing, so, but we're pretty much in the new construction business, 60% new construction, 40% tariff, but, and here to teach you how to flash. Well, good, I appreciate it. You know, it's gonna be a great episode. We have some expertise on the scene here to help us with flashing, so let's get started. There's a lot of different materials we can use for flashing. So let's talk about what we're gonna to use today and you know some of the installation methods you guys are gonna use. Okay, first things first, we'll touch you a little bit on roll flashing. Just a little trick of the trade. When we come to roll flashing, we always pull from the center, so that way it doesn't uncoil and we can reuse. And then when we go to roll flashing here, Steve-O here is gonna explain those. When you put it on the wall, you roll it out, and you get a straight line across, and you anchor it to the roof into the wall and when you run past we have a flat water flows down over the top of it and then you have your actual roof to wall decorative piece that you anchor off to hide the roll flashing on top something pretty simple hides all the nails underneath the shingle try not to nail within the first three inches of the roll flashing um, and this will cover up all those imperfections underneath there and make it look good as far as uh, step flashing goes we go up the wall we say we nail top here, say this piece of roll flashing, we nail top here. We'll bring our second one down at least a half inch. This here is what we consider an inside corner, it goes up there. What you do is you take a piece of flashing, a pre-bent milled flashing, cut it straight down, fold it at a 90, at a 90 and it'll sit just up there like that. And then the water will shed off and come straight down and your step flashing will be up underneath it. Um, now you guys like you know pre-bent corner flashing? I do not, and it's not against the company that makes them. It's a great idea. I get the concept, but the problem with these are is this right here. When you come around, it makes your shingle stick up so much more like that. So now you got chances of ice and snow grabbing this. Uh, I don't believe it comes out far enough. And then on the corners that I really don't like is now you got to beat it in here and create this little gap and then you gotta try and smash it in and use a nail. I don't like that idea at all. That's why we make our own and we'll show you later on in the video. Okay, great. And then, you know, we have a um, example here of uh, pipe flashing. What is, you know, the common mistakes that you see here? Uh, these are more or less um, people shingling all the way around them. It traps the water in, you, the, the shingle seals, and then eventually it seals here in a, enough rain and this hole's cut too big, say the hole's cut down here, the water ends up coming. Number one thing that we have leaks on is plumbers. We put these on on new construction, plumbers stick their pipes up, pull it back down, and it rubs the pipe boot inside out. This always leaks. And then within three years, these rubbers, excuse me, these rubber end up cracking, they make a replacement collar. Pretty simple. You slide it down, huh? Yep, all the way down. Make sure it gets underneath the shingles and simple repair instead of having to pull this all the way up and do a new one. You say spend three dollars versus you know twelve dollars. So well, great. You know, I mean, that's a lot of great information. So let's get hands on and see how, how it's actually done. Let's get started with roll flashing. That'd be our first example. So let's get started about what to do in the field and some common mistakes. So guys, go ahead. First things first on your roll flashing, we always pull from the center. It just it's easier, it's simpler, and it pulls on the job and you can do long runs. So just line it up with your wall. And you need to go at least four inches past your outside wall. Okay, fold it up. So you can pretty even because you want a consistent line. You'll take your hammer. All right, well, we'll nail first. We'll nail down first. Then you'll take your hammer. You'll stick it as far as you can in and create the line. This gives you the contour of the wall. So if there's a little dip, a bow, or whatever, you get it on every one. On roll flashing, we always attach even though it's not preferred but you have to get these these wrinkles out so we'll probably put one here one in the middle and one on the far side
Okay. And you created it. So next what you do, you take your outside wall will be your, your line, you'll cut straight down. And what this do is is creating for your step flashing something to drain off of. So you'll have your corner. And then you'll be able to get your step flashing something to drain off of too. So this creates, pretty much eliminates the void down there. You might have a pinhole that you touch up later with caulk, but those are the only things different than using pre-bents. Pre-bents are fine, but then you got this big jumbo here that you gotta try and get out. And it's just, a, it's a headache for the siders, it's a headache for us. Hey guys, I wanna give a special thank you to Crown Sea Supply for being a great partner of Atlas and letting us shoot this video, this flashing video on site. To get more information on installation tips and our new products, visit us on our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Atlas Roofing Corp. Until next time, it's hammer time.